Hi, my name is Ashish Rastogi from Math115.com, and I'm going to give um, an actual example based off of what Matt Guthrie had done in the previous video. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually try and add some numbers. So over here, I have a few numbers here. The probability of boys being 40%, probability of girls being 60%, S given B being 30%, so S still stands for soccer, and S given G being 40%. So using these numbers here, I'm going to explain how we can fill in this tree diagram and how we can get the end result numbers right here. So just to explain it, and here's an, a simple rule to remember. When you're going across, you're always going to be multiplying. So think intersections when you're going across. But when you're going vertically, you're always going to have mutual exclu mutually exclusive events. So you always can uh, make sure you're right because your vertical numbers should add to 1. So this number and this number should add to 1, this number and this number should add to 1, and this number and this number should add to 1. <clears throat> and then finally, at the end, all four of these numbers should add to 1 as well. That's how we can verify your answer. So here we go. The first thing is that the, we want to input the probability of boys. So we know that's 40%, so that's where that came from. And then the probability of girls, 60%. So the next thing is, what does this right here represent? So if you remember from the previous video, uh, Matt said that this number right here is going to be B, or no, sorry, S given B. So if this is S given B, then that should be this right here, 30%. And now we know that this number right here and this number right here need to add up to 1. That means that this number here, just take the, uh, 1 minus 30%, you get 70%. So this is 70%. And again, this is going to be S complement given B. So over here, this should be S given G. So that's this number right here. So we can put in a 40%. And that again is S given G. And then down here should be S complement, which again, should these two numbers right here need to add to 1. So we know that this number will be 60%. And that again is S complement given G. So now we've done, um, we filled in the chart, uh, uh, the tree diagram. So now we can basically solve for these n numbers. So this number right here is supposed to be S intersect B, or B intersect S. It's interchangeable either way. Um, and that's going to be the multiplication between this number here and this number here. So that is 0 0.12. And then over here, it'll be the multiplication between this number and this number. So this is S complement intersect B, or vice versa. <clears throat> and that'll be uh, 0 0.28, 28%. So we can do the same thing down here, 60 times 40. So this will be S intersect G, that's uh, 24%, and down here 60 times 60, so this will be S complement intersect G is equal to 60 times 60 is uh, 36%. And so if you add this number, this number, this number, and this number, it needs to add up to 1, and in this case it does. This, do, this sum does equal 1.0. So this is kind of just how you solve um, a basic tree diagram problem. Um, this is probably the most basic of the problems that you can expect to see. Um, but now you can, tell, you can answer any question. If they ask you what is S intersect B, you automatically know what it is. What is S complement intersect G, you already know how to solve them. And it's always, it's always a good idea to just solve everything in a tree diagram when you're presented with this type of a problem because often these, these types of questions will have multi-part um, uh, questions that will ask you different things about the same tree diagram. So there you go. So wait, let's take this one step further though. I want you to answer how many or what is the probability of girls that play soccer? How so, would you answer something like that? Interesting question. Very good question. So you said girls that the play soccer. Of girls playing soccer. So what you're telling me is that for sure they're playing soccer. So I'm given soccer, but I'm looking for the probability of girls. So that's a pretty good problem, because now using our conditional probability rules, we can break this up. We know that this is the same thing as G intersect S, 
all over the probability of x. Now, excellent question. Because right here, this one's an easy one. We can figure that out just by looking at our chart. We look for this, we see this is the same thing. S intersect G is the same thing as G intersect S. So we have our numerator as 0.24. But this denominator is a tricky one, right? There isn't anything on here that's just S. But we can solve for this S right here by noticing that S intersect G plus S intersect B is going to be S. So, so wait, these two are the two of everybody playing soccer. Correct. Okay. Because, the, so if we want to find out what, basically in other words, what he's saying is that the total population playing soccer, well, you're either a girl or a boy. So if you add these two probabilities together, you have the total population that plays soccer. So in math, uh, the way that that would look is that S intersect G plus uh, S intersect B is equal to the probability of s. So if we take the 0 0.24 number right here, 0 0.24 plus the 0 0.12, we'll get 0 0.36. And that 0 0.36 is what we can put in for probability of x. So we put that down here. And that is your answer to solve that problem. Very cool. Sweet. High five.